Hello, I am Dr. Nagesh Echi, consultant cardiologist at uh, Manipal Hospital, Malishram and World Airport Road. September 29th of every year is celebrated as a World Heart Day to create awareness among general population and also to stimulate the policy makers about the prevalences of heart diseases and the preventive steps to be taken because prevention is always better than cure. Cardiovascular diseases, especially the coronary artery disease, continues to be the number one killer across the globe. Uh, more alarmingly, these incidences of cardiovascular diseases are happening in younger population and uh, there are various reasons for that. So today I'm going to discuss about the preventive steps and also the underlying factors why it's uh, happening. Of late, we are witnessing uh, many sudden cardiac arrests or sudden cardiac deaths in the younger generation. Maybe in the offices or uh, in the gymnasium uh, while, while doing uh, gymnastics or in the workouts. So people are just collapsing, especially in the younger age group. And what are the preventive steps to be taken? By second or third decade, 95% of the population have some amount of uh, fat buildup, which is medically known as atherosclerotic block inside the blood vessels of the heart, inside the blood vessels of the brain. It remains more or less the silent. These silent blocks, atherosclerotic blocks, become vulnerable or they become violent for some reasons. And then they attack the blood clot, which clogs the blood vessel and leads to heart attack, stroke, sudden cardiac arrest or sudden cardiac deaths. Why these blocks become vulnerable or they become violent and leading to these uh, sudden deaths in the younger population and how to prevent that? If you look at the pyramid of health actually, sleep is the most important uh, aspect which has taken a back seat in today's uh, fast pace of life. A person on average needs a seven hours of some sleep because of uh, work stress and other various factors or partying in the younger generation. So it has taken a, um, it has come down to around five to six hours a day, which is taking enormous toll on the physical health. And this is one of the important factor which makes the a stable plot become unstable and attach the blood clot. Apart from that, actually physical activity, the work culture has become from uh, physical labor to mental labor sitting 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 so sitting is a new disease sitting disease and it's a equivalent to smoking so what i suggest is every two hours please try to get up and walk around at least for 10 minutes and then start working which is most important apart from that actually no need to go for any gym or things just a uh, brisk walking for a 45 minutes that's, that's more than sufficient at least seven, uh, six days a week and then the diet is the quality and quantity matters. Avoid three hours, the refined, reheated, recooked, and reduce three S, salt, sugar, and saturated fat. Quality and quantity matters. Never skip any medications. Even if you have one has undergone an angioplasty and bypass, the certain medications for lifelong, especially the blood thinners and the cholesterol tablets. So wish everyone of you a happy and healthy old heart day. If you have any doubts or clarifications, please, Put your question into the comment box and we are happy to respond to these your queries and uh, it's going to make a huge difference as far as the health is concerned.